You know, we should we should call your mom. I think that she would really want to be there. Okay. Gwen, have you heard from the judge? Yeah, he's made his decision. Will and I are on our way to the court right now. Where are you? Oh, uh, I'm getting my nails done. Um, I'll meet you at the hearing, all right? Le honey, everything's going to be all right. I promise. Ms. Ryan, we're yes. ready for your radiation treatment. Oh, um, you know, something really important has come up, and I'm going to have to reschedule. Thank you. Hi. Uh, so I'll be right back. Just one sec, okay? I'm not supposed to talk to you. I know, you don't have to say anything. But I just, I want you to know that no matter what happens, Will and I, we just want what's best for Hallie. And that's, that's what this is all about. First of all, I would like to thank everyone for their testimony in this case. I have considered every detail of the evidence very, very carefully. A court must respect the rights of a biological mother, the physical and emotional connection between a mother and a child should be sacrosanct. However, in this particular instance, it uh, appears that uh, Mr. Rand repeatedly exhibited unstable behavior which put her infant at risk. Add to that the fact that her petition to nullify the adoption came after the designated date suitable for the challenge, and the court must award custody of the child, Hallie Jennifer Munson, to her adoptive parents, Gwen and William Munson. We did it. We'll be okay. Gwen and Will are good people. I'm sure they'll let you see Hallie. Your Honor, I have something to say. You may proceed, Mr. Ann. I love my baby. I always have. I'm so sorry. I scared you when I took Hallie to New York. If I, if I had the chance, I would have done so many things differently. And now Hallie is yours. But she's still a part of me. I just want her to know that. Even, even if I can't raise her, she's the only family I've got. Thanks for waiting with me. Is it good news? We won. My granddaughter is home for good. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> Why aren't you jumping for joy? Because I know how hard it is I've been in Sophie's situation when I lost Billy. I feel for Sophie, too. But you know what? I'm happy for Hallie. And I'm happy for us. I mean, she's ours now. We're her parents. So I think we should be celebrating. Let's have, let's have a party back at the house. Yeah? yeah? Hallie, do you want to ride? Oh, it's okay. I have my car. Uh, can I bring my, um, can I bring Matt? He's uh, one of Casey's friends. Yeah, definitely. And bring Casey, too. Okay. You'll come, too, yeah? Uh, no, no. I have an appointment to attend to. You kids have fun and enjoy that little girl. Okay. They grow up far too fast. Okay. Sophie, I want to talk to you. Even if it's to hear me apologize to you. I am sorry that I tried to push you into giving up your baby. But you have to admit that Hallie's going to have a much better life than you could ever have provided for her. Oh, that, that's your apology. That's What's it like when you're being me? <laughs> Miss Ryan, we were able to reschedule your radiation session. You'll start in half an hour in prepping the exam room. Thank you. You have cancer. Please, 
Don't tell Will and Gwen. 